All right, hello everyone. Uh, Rob here, ScrappyDo.com, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how you can do this inside Shortcuts Lot Five. Now, for you Shortcuts Lot Four users out there, you can do the same thing, uh, same effect here uh, that you see right here. And we're going to show you how we can we can knock this out. So, a uh, couple things that you should learn on this is uh, we're going to show some. Uh, installing temporary fonts and why we want to do that. Uh, B, we're going to show some uh, some shadowing and merging, and then we're also going to do some object on path. All right. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get started uh, with this. So, uh, th the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new page just so we can have a blank little canvas. Um, I want to go ahead and get rid of the library. The first step here is the text. So, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, type in scrappy do. And uh, again, this could be like your last name, first name, or what have you. Okay. So the the next thing is y you need to choose the font. Well, uh, over here in the the text menu here, uh, text panel anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the font that I found online. And let me go ahead and pull this up. So inside font space, I just did a quick search for cursive, and I, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one right here, the uh, vegan style. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the download. You click on the download, it's going to download a zip file that looks just like this. You will have to unzip it before you're able to use it inside shortcuts a lot five or four. Okay. So uh, with it, uh, I mean, you're going to see something that looks very similar to this uh, once you unzip it. It's the vegan style personal use TTF, if that's the one that you so choose to use as well. And I'm not going to double click on this. I'm not going to install it permanently on my hard drive. Um, the reason why you'd want to install or temporarily install items is because you don't want to have a lot of fonts on your hard drive. Uh, it just bogs the whole system down. And if you're only going to use it for a couple times, uh, you know, temporarily install it inside Shortcuts Lot 5. And just when you close out of the program, it's going to uh, not open it again. Okay, it's no longer going to be part of the boot up sequence anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, minimize that, minimize this, and let's go ahead and get back into, uh, you know, Shortcuts Lot 5. So uh, again, I have not installed it, have not installed the font, and we need to temporarily install it. You can see the two, the two T's right here, uh, load a font file. So I click on it. I navigate to my download folder, I navigate to the actual folder, and there it is, uh, vegan style personal use, TTF. That's the one that I need. I'm going to select it, click open, and shortcuts a lot five is going to let me know, hey, this font has been loaded. Now, uh, with Scrappy2 selected, it's time to choose the font, or select it anyway. And several ways to do that, you can go over here to the font, go ahead and go all the way down to the B's. Uh, or you can uh, essentially go up here to the text menu up here and find it that way. Uh, or uh, if you're lucky enough to be on a Macintosh computer, uh, you can go up to the help menu and just simply type this in. So I know it's vegan, V-E-G-A-N. There it is. It's going to select it. And now my font has changed. So that is good. Now, with the text the way it is right now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this to a side, and we're going to go ahead and pick our state out, okay? Uh, that is in the library section. So we click the library, and you can either go to the state section where it says USA, or you can just simply type in your state here. So uh, I'm in Indiana, so I-N-D-I-A-N-A. -A. Hit the enter key, and there's my state, okay? So uh, we are located out of Indianapolis, Indiana, just in case if anyone's wondering and stuff, if you're a... Uh, Fellow Hoosier, feel free to say hi in the comments down below and everything. But anyways, um, I have the state selected. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out the library. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is, uh, again, the reason why I didn't make this a union yet is because uh, I want to have it go around uh, the state here. Okay, again, uh, Indiana is a nice state that has a nice straight edge, so uh, that is what I use there. So uh, I could just rotate this and put it on there. Uh, for some of you other states out there, you may have uh, you know a few straight edges and stuff, but uh, again, uh, I'm going to show you some of the effects menu and stuff. So uh, the text does have to be on the top layer, so uh, you can see that in the layers panel, I'm going to go ahead and shift it to the top. I want to select both of these here. And now it's time to go ahead and go up to the effects menu and then object on path. Okay. 
and the menu will appear here. I'm going to go ahead and click on Auto Preview. So you can sort of see why I left it as a text file so far is because uh, it will sort of follow the curves each letter individually. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and reverse the path order. And then I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, I can start clicking this way. Um, you know, me practicing this, I already know it's going to be somewhere around 10 uh, will get me really close. Okay. So, all right. So I have the, the scrappy do in the section where I want. And now I'm going to go ahead and click on the OK button. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And uh, I'm going to hide the Indiana right now just so we're focusing on one thing at a time. So with the scrappy do selected, I'm just going to go ahead and go to Path uh, Union. All right. Now, if you don't see that here, maybe we can go into the group down here, select it, and go to Path Union, and there it is. So this is what Union will do for you. Uh, Union actually welds everything together, makes it permanent. It's just one piece. So if I click on the preview here, uh, you will see. <laughs> I know there's a lot of nodes here. Remove the nodes. Uh, you can see everything is just like one piece and stuff. All right. Okay, so how did we get the, you know, this little outline trace, right? So that is coming up. So let's go ahead and uh, bring the Indiana back up. And now I'm going to go ahead and select the Indiana, go up to um, Effects menu, and I'm going to go ahead to Shadow Layer. And I'm going to go ahead and increase this a little bit. That looks good. And now I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Now with the both Indiana selected, okay, the both the states. So we can go down here in the layers menu, select both of them just to be sure. And now we're going to go up to object merge. And it's like it creates a punch out of that, right? So that looks good so far. We're almost there. Uh, the next step is to create that, that little outline that you see there, um, you know, the, the pink outline. So if I were to uh, hide that, you can sort of see what's on the bottom layer there. So that's what we're going to create next. Okay. So uh, over here with the scrappy do selected, I'm just going to go ahead and go up to the effects menu, shadow layer. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to something a little more visible for us here. And again, you can increase, decrease this as much as you want. Um, you know, I think I maybe went with one here. So let me go ahead and change this to, to one. And we'll see how that looks. So that looks okay. I'll just increase this here to one. Okay. All right, so that looks good right there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And now it's time to hide the red, the top layer text. And I'm just going to select everything here and go to uh, Path Union. Now that's all fused together. Again, we can adjust color if we need to over here. All right, so we'll, we'll do this one in green. And then uh, we can go turn our red on. And there we go. So that's, uh, that's looking really good there. Go ahead and change that to black. So we have our state. We have our name now. And then uh, the, the last final touch was the heart. And that, again, that's found in the library. You can go under, uh, I believe, basic shapes. You'll find the hearts there. Or you can just type in the word hearts, and everything will pop up there as far as the hearts go. All right, and just put your heart there and move it to wherever you're from, right? So anyways, uh, th that's just a, a quick lesson on a uh, how we can load a font uh, temporarily. Again, if I go ahead and close out of Shortcuts Live 5 here, it will not show back up in my program. I'd have to re you know re-temporarily install it again if I wanted to use it again. Okay, so uh, we, we found out how to do that. We did the shadowing. Uh, we did a lot of shadowing in this one, matter of fact. We did merging, and then we did object on path to get things where we wanted. All right, so hopefully you guys can see the power of Shortcuts Lot 5. Uh, and again, this was in uh, Shortcuts Lot 4 as well. Uh, make sure you check out the links down below. Um, we do have a classroom, tons of videos on there on how to use uh, sure cuts lot four or five. If you learn from something from this, you're definitely going to learn something from the classroom. So make sure you guys join that. And then also our Facebook group that you can see uh, down below. The link will be down below uh, where if you if you have sure cuts a lot, um, you, you know, 
go ahead and go in there, ask your questions and stuff. You can always get uh, someone around that's uh, that's answered there. I think we almost have uh, a little over 5,000 people in there uh, so far that can help you out and answer the questions and stuff. All right. So, hey, thanks for watching this, everybody. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next time on another tutorial, okay? All right.